Recorded evening for two Reading High School students were supposed to go to trial today in what some experts say is one of the worst pet mutilation cases they've ever seen. One teen was released to his parents, the other taken into custody until sentencing. In this exclusive developing story, Rich Jaffe tells us the court's also worried about what the parents in this case did not do. Thanks to a juvenile court magistrate, well, that's my the cat. cat won't be returned to its owners for fear it might end up like its sibling, mm. pulverized and mutilated. Today, the two teens responsible the described for the magistrate what happened. The 14-year-old participant Today. appeared truthful. 16-year-old instigator, anything but, saying he sprayed the cat with Lysol and it died. We buried the cat and that's when the body got messed up because the ground was really, it was cold outside. It was so hard and we had to hit the, it was hard to dig a hole and we had to hit the, the cat down on the ground. But experts say the cat resembled a sack. Every bone in its body broken, eyes gouged out, teeth knocked out, it brain removed, out. and a stake driven through it. Afterwards, the 16-year-old went to school and bragged. I used to hang out with him and he just laughed and stuff to me as lizards and like his other animals that I used to have. Classmates. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a teacher and we talked to the teacher about it and the teacher told the principal and I guess he got to the cops somehow. What was the reaction at school when the word got out of what they had done? That he was psycho. <laughs> <laughs> I told him he made out. They made he made out with a lizard. Ugh. A serial killer, but the potential is there. And in this case, hopefully, it's potential averted. Rich Jaffe, local twelve. Sentencing.